Yep, thank you very much. One Grub is a restaurant located inside First Christian Church in Central El Paso, but it is no ordinary restaurant. Yeah, that's right. It serves the community healthy vegan meals through a pay it forward system. Monica Cortez has this special report. Roman and Adriana Wilcox are co-founders of two separate but integrated organizations, One Grub, where Roman cooks up his favorite plant-based recipes. Anyone in the community can have a meal that's fresh, plant-based, and made with love and integrity. And they can sit, they can order from the menu, and it's all provided by the community. And plenty for the people. We utilize the space to teach people how to grow food in the desert. That's our main mission. Um, and so as a volunteer group, we do a lot of just hands-on maintenance on the garden, but we really try to impart you know, some growing techniques and um, really get people involved with working with the land. The Wilcox say their diner is located in central El Paso, a space that they say is perfect as it's in the heart of the city and easy for people to access. This zip code in particular is one of the lowest income zip codes in El Paso. Um, it is considered a food desert, so there's not access to fresh vegetables within a walkable distance. Um, and so that's that can be really tough to folks that are low income, folks that are low income and also have health issues. Um, so we really try to kind of break through those um, those issues for folks to at least kind of provide some type of produce available here. And then we also have the Pay It Forward program that kind of combines both organizations together. Established in 2016, the husband and wife duo have served the community for nearly 10 years and say El Pasoans have really stepped up to make what their organization is today. We do an average of about 30 Pay It Forward meals a week and I would say the community pays it forward about 50 a week, so there's always just a little bit, you know, a little bit more in the tank, so that's kind of like a marker for success for us, because when it comes down to it, it's like we've given, been able to provide thousands of meals, and we say it's not even that we've given, they're literally paid for by the community. In fact, the Montes family, a loyal patron of the diner, frequent one grub quite often. Javier Montes says it was his wife who introduced him to the restaurant before he fell in love with vegan food. Eating vegan food was completely out of the question, so she brought me in and uh, we shared my displeasure of being here with Roman, and he he brought out a sample of food that he had because I was not going to probably eat anything, and I fell in love with the food, and I've been here. We come here probably once or twice a week. Roman, it's good to see you. What are you doing today? So I'm making little mini sopes. It's Roman's love for food that drove him to participate in the HBO Max show, The Big Brunch. There was always a little sneaking suspicion that made, that that was going to follow through and happen, but it was kind of, it felt pretty far-fetched. Um, but once it did happen, the same day, within the same hour, we found out there was a contract put on the building. So it's just been a constant um, roller coaster of just excitement and hope with also, like, questioning and, I don't know, so the experience has just been interesting. That's right. Roman and Adriana's beloved diner is facing a lot of uncertainty. The property where One Grub is located is under contract by Spaghetti Bowl Properties. We reached out to them and they say, quote, we are open-minded on who wants to stay and who wants to come in. We want to make the space culturally and economically viable. As the sale of the property looms over one grub, the Wilcox say there is one thing keeping them from looking elsewhere, hope. I think what's also kept us here in this very strange, very like ungrounded space is the space itself. Yeah. It's very unique to have a commercial kitchen with garden accessibility, with a parking lot in the middle of an, in a food desert, in the <laughs> middle of a neighborhood. There's so many things yeah. that have kept us here yeah. just so that we can see, is there a possibility that, that we can stay? Yeah. And our thanks to Monica for tonight's special report.